What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to Prison Architect. And I admit, this prison is coming along quite nicely, if I don't say so myself. And uh, today I've got a few little plans to do, and I do like to say uh, thank you to, I think it was um, Super Butterfly, I'm sorry if it's not, I think it was Super Butterfly 2 I'm not 100% sure, I'm really bad at remembering, <laughs> remembering names sometimes, but I do have to thank you for some of the little hints that you've said uh, this past week and the last three episodes. Uh, your comments have been very helpful, actually, and um, you've actually helped me very much uh, figure out why I was having this issue with a few weapons and like as as we saw uh, when we go to contraband narcotics is really high at the moment as luxuries but before when even after we put the metal detectors in we were still having high weapon rates and high tool rates and I was a bit confused as to why because I felt like that I should have been really knuckling down like they're not as high as what they were but we're still getting some supply in and I was getting a bit confused as to why we're getting a supply and apparently um, the link between weapons and tools come from three other locations one of them is the kitchen so apparently kitchens um, weapons can be almost smuggled in or just um, like hidden in the food I don't know really exactly why it's like that but yeah it's like hidden in the food they get that then when they leave we find it so we're not we don't really have an issue there that kind of explained why there was a knife here because probably maybe someone had walked through here the thing went off and then maybe a prisoner dropped it because they realized that there's metal detectors there and they can't get out so there was no point taking it through so we've kind of got this area sorted but there's two other locations one of them we do not have in our world at the moment and that is a workshop um there's metal plates or something and within metal plates they I think they can hide or make uh, weapons through the metal plates and stuff like that so we don't have to worry about that um, it's also it's all sorted in that situation another area I think that they can get we uh, weapons and tools is obviously in deliveries uh, which is an issue because it's like right at the front so we need to sort we need to sort out the front this uh, this uh, this record session but the other area is the laundry apparently they can smuggle uh, weapons and narcotics and stuff like that through the clothes and stuff like that so I'm thinking of putting a pair of metal detectors right up here so I'm gonna get these dismantled and we're gonna put some metal detectors there and we're gonna get uh, average Joe um, police officer to patrol or stay near the uh, near these doors so um the one big thing I wanted to sort out is kind of look at the front of the prison I don't really know how we're gonna do it I don't have a clue at all how we're gonna do it but it's something I want to look into um, now my worry is if we put metal detectors can these laundry baskets pass through the metal detectors that's what I'm thinking I'm pretty sure they probably can, but I I wanna I, I kind of hope that they can. It would be a bit of a nuisance if they don't. So we can place this guy here, and then rotate him around there. So then we've got metal detectors there. So that's okay because they can walk down here. They can smuggle all the stuff they want, but in the end they can't get past this point, which is good. Um, let's go staff. No um, deployment guard patrols. Okay, we have this guard that walks up and down here, but we, um, see here we've got guards just standing here on the side, who kind of he hop, they operate the doors, which is good. Um, so if we get a guard that stands like here, then he's halfway between here and here, and he'll be close enough to probably activate what I need him to activate. So if I place a guard here, then that might be good enough. Um, so yeah, I really want to focus on the front of the prison. I feel like the front of the prison is the big area where we're lacking a bit. And I kind of just want to look at objects and stuff that we can get. Because I think there's like... So we have like workshop stuff. Um, let's just go materials for a second. Rooms. Is it under utilities maybe? CCTV door control, pressure pad, sends a signal, okay that's interesting, door timers, I think there's like barriers if I'm correct, like uh, almost like car barrier, I don't know, yeah yeah, uh, road gate, here we go, so, okay, 
So what does this do? Like, what's what's the point of the road gate? Hmm. I, I'm, I'm intrigued as to what is the point of this road gate. See, because you can't place it there. You can place it there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued as to what these road gates are for. Because I'm, I'm interested in doing something with them. I really want to get the perimeter wall around this area, though. That's something I really want to get going. But it's just way too expensive, which actually is reminding me. I want to look into our grants. So, we have cell block C to do, which is um, get 100 prisoners, which is good. We can do that, I think, because this is... So we've got 60, and each one of these hold 20, so this will take us to 100. So this one, and then that will be the maximum storage for this prison, will be 100 prisoners. Um, which is quite a lot, it's quite good. And we've got probably, we, yeah, I guess so. It's a bit weird how we have two cells this side, and then three this side, but then this side has the shower for the whole prison. Because we don't really need another shower, because it's, it's big enough, really. Um, dog handle, that's right, that's right. I, want, I was already planning to do that, but, um... Uh, we all, I was already talked about um, dog handlers in the past, but I think it was uh, Super Butterfly again. Uh, she mentioned something about dog um, dog handlers and how dogs are better at finding uh, narcotics and smuggled goods in, especially when it comes to visitation. So I think it's something that we need to organize and uh, get sorted. So we've got a lot of things that we need to do. Uh, so... I think that's what I want. I want to look at the front, though. <laughs> I really want to look at the front, because the front bothers me. So, if I go, like... Um, well, that can be the front as it is now. Um, I wouldn't mind it being, like, an access door. That's what we could do. We could do, like... Um, I have no clue how they work. But we could do like, um, so someone's like, there's like a little room here, and there's an, one door here that activates or something, but one guy only activates it. Now, that's what we could do. How do we unlock that stuff? Bureaucracy. Remote access. So, unlocks high-tech equipment for remote control and automated doors. Um, doors could be opened remotely by using a door control system operated by a guard or opened by a door timer at specific times of a day. Oh, that's interesting. I like that, actually. Yeah, we'll get we'll start doing that. So we don't have that many more um, things to get in bureaucracy. We've got CCTV, tax relief, offshore uh, tax haven. We don't really have to worry about them too much due to the fact that they're really expensive. Like, that's 60 grand on its own. Um, we probably can get... We might as well just select these to go. So they're done. We don't have to worry about it anymore. They will do over time. And then we don't actually have to touch bureaucracy again until, you know, eventually when we start getting a bit of money to splash out. Because at the moment, we've got $14,000. We're earning $1,600 uh, a day, which is wonderful. But to increase our income, we need to start... As much as I want to start working on the front and doing this and doing that and doing this and that, we need to start focusing on this because this is our primary income. So, let's go objects. Uh, no, wait. Let's go utilities. Let's have a look at the pipes. How are we going to do the pipes? Because um, we've got this, this, this. Um, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to drag big pipe out to here, I think, will be the best solution. Am I correct? Because then it can go that way and that way. So, oh, wait. Yeah, so I want to do a big pipe all the way across there. And then we can run it all the way up here. But we're going to have to delete... We're going to have to delete a few walls, so let's go, um, materials, demolish wall, we need to delete, uh, this wall, and this wall, this, yeah, we're going to have to delete a tiny bit of each wall, just so we can get in those corners there, and make sure those pipes get laid down, so let's get these guys working. And we'll start getting some prisoners. Because then we can get another 40 more prisoners, and then we'll be at max security at this prison, which is wonderful. So now I'm going to tell this to run all the way up to. Might as well say it to run to there, although I don't need it to go to there. 
Um, <clears throat> so now these guys will place all this stuff when they uh, when they get there. Then we can set the water pipes and we get all the toilets in place, and the beds, and the cell doors. And uh, then it shouldn't be too bad. And then we should, I reckon, when we get another 40 prisoners, I reckon our income might go to about, I reckon we'll raise by about 1,000. That's what I'm hoping. If we can earn 2,500 a day, that's really good. Um, okay, I need to go, okay, they're still doing that. But I need to go materials, concrete wall. Okay, I'm waiting for that one guy to do that for me, which he just did. Let's do that. Alright, now we can go objects. No, go back to utilities, sorry. Let's get the small pipes. And this is going to run just like so. Like all the other ones have done. They all follow a similar pattern, which is good. And then we can start stocking this up. So I think what, what we really need to do is the two big things I want to do this recording session. Oh. Pause. What was that? Alcohol, narcotics. Where are these being found? Oh, these have been found through these doors. Okay. So, let's just play for a second. <clears throat> so, this is, this is quite interesting. They all pile in. There. It's like a massive group. So, that's good. So, we found narcotics. We found a whiskey bottle. That's good. We also need to get the armor. So, yeah. Okay. We've got, we got a few things that we need to do. A few big things we need to do. So, we need to get the armory going, we need to get 40 new prisoners, and we need to sort out the front of our prison cell. Uh, and then we also need to look at classrooms and stuff like that. I don't know if we'd get all that done today, but I do want to get a lot of progress done today. Like, we've got to the point where we don't have to worry about bureaucracy anymore unless we have a huge amount of money. Uh, now it's to the point that we need to spend a lot, like this is our big spend. This will be where a lot of money goes. Uh, then after this, we need to save up for 40 grand. That's what we need. So 40 grand is quite a lot. At the moment, we're sitting at 13. So um, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see how we're going to be able to get 40 grand. But I have a feeling a lot of the uh, prison's money is going to go in here. Because we've only got, we've got 11 grand sitting at the moment. But when we do all this, like it's 2,000 for all torts, so that's another 2,000 there. Which, you know, it, it is expensive. It's an expensive um, thing to do, but it does pay itself off over time. And someone still hasn't built that damn wall that I want them to build. My, my builders are slow sometimes. Alright, let's, let's, uh, let's get the speed going. <coughs> and hopefully they do their damn job. So then we can do this, and this, and... Just get a whole bunch of this stuff done. Alright, there we go. So now, let, let's just... Okay, so... Got that going. That. We still need... Someone to build a damn wall right here, which we haven't had someone do yet. Right click to cancel. I'm going to tell them to redo that. Found a screwdriver somewhere. <clears throat> Again, that's all. It's all in here. A lot of this stuff has been found in here. Stuff gets f hidden in uh, the food and everything, which is the interesting part that I find. So we've got this um, laundry basket, which is great. We just saw that can actually go through those doors. We don't have to worry about it. It's almost to the point where we don't need prison cells. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, they needed power, didn't they? But they're actually. Oh, that's perfect. They're actually sitting on the power line, which is good. I didn't have to install any more power for them. All right, we're going to have to just keep this at fast forward at the moment. Um, we can go here, see, look, narcotics and everything are very, very high. Uh, that's coming through vi visitation. Visitation is a big reason why narcotics are high. And we're going to stop that eventually. See, drugs is, um, needs is high. A lot of this is good, though. Like, we've really, like, from where we were at the start of this prison, we were having such big issues. Like, critical was super, super high. And that was a big worry. But, you know, I think we've, re we've really nailed down on the need sides of things. Uh, you know, like if you look at food and hunger over here on the side, you know, we're at 98%. You know, that other percent's probably due to someone... No, we don't have anyone in solitary as well. Wait, what, what? why is this flashing? No laundry basket. Okay. 
Okay, so these guys have done all this. We've got new prisoner stuff there. We just need to put prison cell doors in. Uh, we need to put one more bed in over here. These guys are doing the pipes, which is wonderful. So what we can do is we can go here and we can go um, prisoners. We have one high risk, which is this jerk here. Um, so we're going to open up more medium risk prisoners. We're going to get eight more prisoners in eight hours. Okay. So, <clears throat> so to make this work, we're going to get more jail doors. And we're going to put all our jail doors on here now. And then this, this is then going to be really good because a lot of the expenses are gone. Let me get some more prisoners in here. So now I can go rooms, cell, and increase our cell limit to um, increase our cell limit to 80. Then I'm going to mark these guys as cells as well. And this is going to raise it up to 100. But we need to um, we need to uh, build that. So we've got okay. So this is all good. Uh, we're missing some lights in there. So we need to go objects, light. I need to put a light here, 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 and here. Then we should be fine. There's I think a light in here somewhere. I don't know. We'll find out a bit later on. Uh, so now we need to get these objects back in here. So this is where it's going to cost us a bit again. This is, what, about $2,000 expansion. Yeah, we're gonna, this is going to be tight for money. But exactly when we get this done, we're going to get twenty grand, I think, just from... Um, just from building this. So that's that. So how much money have we got? we got 2000 Okay, I'm... I'm uh, we'll put the beds in first. Four, six, eight, ten. And there we go. That's all the beds I'm going to do. So, poor, we have bugger all money. We have no money to spend now. So, all we can do is really just fast forward and wait. Because um, our income is sitting there. We're getting... Lost 150 there for police uniform. You're going to get some more prisoners in a second. Assign two dog handlers, patrols, and assign two armed guards to patrols. And that's going to give us 15 grand. So that could be our little escape go here of getting them. So armed guards. Each armed guard requires his own locker in the armory. Okay. Which we've got an armory over here. Then dog handlers, dog handlers. Here we go. They actually don't cost. They cost me a hundred. It costs five hundred. Okay. They cost five hundred. And you guys. Okay. So they cost a tiny bit. All right. Maybe. Maybe we look at what we got in storage here. Yeah. We've got all this stuff. Like surely. See, that's the thing, though. You have like search and all this sort of stuff and um dump and that, but I want to sell it. Why can't I sell some of these things? Unless you go materials, um, isn't there like a sell object? Oh, maybe I select it through here. No? Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, wait, we, we just got eight new prisoners, didn't we? Yes, so we're up to 60 prisoners now. Uh, let's, see, let's check our grading, actually. So... Reform program. So our punishment is 7, our reform is 0, that's expectable. Our health is negative 2, which is interesting. So how many? We've had prison value is 230,000, daily profit is 2,500, that's great. Capacity is 80, deaths in custody 1, prisoner escapes 3. So we've had 14 prisoners being released. That probably explains why we get the random numbers going down now and then, because it is a prisoner being released for us. So now we're up to... $99 per how many, I think it gives us probably per hour or something in the game, I guess. So that, so that's really good. Um, so we've got these guys, we've got more prisoners that's come in. Yeah, it's practically every hour we get $99, which is great. We're back up to $1,000. Um, but, okay, we need to work towards 
So we can get see an armed guard. So they cost fifteen hundred. So that's three thousand we need. But each armed guard needs its own. What was it again? It was um. 